Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the rejoinings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. And matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Okay, um, I will be doing Fire and Ice by Robert Frost. Ooh. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say ice. And what I've tasted of desires, I hold to those who favor fire. If I had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. And to say that destruction twice is also great and would suffice. Thank you. The Universe as Primal Screen by Tracy K. Smith. 5 p.m. on the nose. They open their mouths, and it rolls out. High, shrill, and metallic. First the boy, then his sister. Occasionally, they both let loose at once, and I think of putting on my shoes to go up and see whether it is merely an experiment their parents are conducting upon the good crystal, which must surely lie shattered to dust on the floor. Maybe the mother is proud of the four pink lungs she nursed to such might. Perhaps, if they hit the magic decibel, the whole building will rise up and will ride the glory like Elijah. And if this is it, if this is, if this is what their cries are cocked toward, let us pass through the sky of changing to blue, to red, to molten gold, to black. Let the heaven we inherit approach. Whether it is our dead in Old Testament robes, or, an op or a door that opens onto the roiling infinity of space, whether it bends down to greet us like the Father, or swallow us like a furnace, I'm ready to meet what never lets us keep anything for long, what teases us with blessings, bends us with grief, wizard, thief, the great wind rushing to knock our mirrors on the floor. What cleans our short lives. How insignificant our racket must seem against it. Me, my stereo on shuffle. The neighbor chopping onions through a wall. All of it just a hiccup against what may never come for us. And the kids upstairs still at it, screaming like the dawn of man, as if something they have no name for is about to be born. Dreamers of dreams, wandering by lone sea breakers, and sitting by desolate streams. World losers and world forsakers, on whom the pale moon gleams, yet we are the movers and shakers of this world, wherever it seems. With wonderful deathless ditties, we built up the world's great cities, and out of a fabulous story, we fashioned an empire's glory. One man with a dream that pleasure shall go forth and conquer a crown, and three with a mere song's measure can trample an empire. We, in the ages lying of the buried past of the earth, melt the navel with our sun, and babel itself with our mirth. And oh, through the new prophesy to the old of the new world's worth, for each age is a dream that is done, or one that is coming to birth. 